Augustine of Hippo, Confessiones, Book 1, Episode 12. An potius non essem, nisi essem in te, ex quo omnia, per quem omnia, in quo omnia, etiam sic domine, etiam sic. Augustine now asks a similar question in a somewhat different fashion. He says on potius. Remember that on is an interrogative particle that asks a question that contains two possible answers. Or is it rather, potius, non essem nisi essem? This is another conditional, and it is a contrary to fact, present conditional. Latin conditionals, like Greek conditionals, contain both a protesis, that's the if clause, and an apotesis, the then clause or the conclusion. Protesis means to be placed before, and apotesis means to give a reply or an answer. The contrary to fact present conditional contains both an imperfect subjunctive in the protesis and an imperfect subjunctive in the apotesis. So here is the apotesis, which is the main clause, the independent clause, or rather, I would not exist. Is it that I would not exist unless I existed in you, unless I were existing in you? SM, both instances, are first singular, and they are imperfect subjunctive active verbs, imperfect subjunctive. Te is ablative, masculine singular ablative, and in plus the ablative indicates location rather than direction, unless I were in you. And now we have three relative clauses, ex quo, per quem, and in quo, which modify te, its antecedent. So the antecedent of quo, te, and quo is masculine, singular, ablative, quem is masculine, singular, and accusative, and this quo is also masculine, singular, ablative. Each one of these cases of the preposition is determined by its use, particularly with these prepositions, ex, per, and in, which take ablative, accusative, and ablative or accusative, respectively. In you, from whom, ex quo, are all things, through whom are all things, in whom are all things. So in each one of these three clauses, there is an implicit sunt as the subject of the neuter plural nominative omnia. Here Paul is paraphrasing from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11, verse 36 and following. The quotation is very close, but whereas Paul makes a declarative statement, Augustine phrases it as a question, which we know not from the question mark, which is a modern editorial convention, but from the presence of this interrogative particle. He then answers his own question with this phrase, Even so, O Lord, even so, or yes indeed, Lord, that's true, yes indeed. Etiam sic, etiam sic, these are conjunctions, etiam, or adverbs, and domine is masculine singular and vocative because he is speaking to the Lord. After Augustine's conversion in 386 at the age of 32, he resigned his post as imperial praetor in Milan and retired for a short time to the town of Cassiciacum, where along with his son Adiadatus, he studied Christianity and wrote a number of important philosophical treatises.